<laughs> what are you doing? Why'd you get that cone head? This is our mascot this morning. She's having a bit of a hard time negotiating this cone, but she's a good pup. This is Storm. This is Jess and Tyler's German Shepherd. And she got a little issue on her leg, so she can't scratch it and lick it. And you are the start of today's video, Storm. Say good morning. Good morning, fish heads, and welcome to yet another exciting adventure in Jekyll Bates. This morning... I've got a few pieces and some really cool stuff that's dropping. Um, it's going to be coming to a website near you soon. Really excited that we've got some new designs going on. But first, I want to get into oh, Danny Joe's. It's not just for breakfast anymore. These are awesome. They're a Tackle Warehouse exclusive. So cool. This is their Delta Craw. Badass. Good job, Kelly. Hey, quick shout out to Norm Coulter. Um, thank you so much. I got a little package in the mail with some swag from his um, his shop, gnawboneTackle.com. Give him a look. Um, he has been a subscriber of the channel and all around cool guy for years. Also a bait painter. Really, really cool guy. Good patterns, good solid stuff. If you guys are in the market for some cool looking cranks, check him out. Also got the Richardsons. Really awesome hat. Thank you so much for sending that along. A um, couple of patterns that I want to show you guys have made a big fuss about these, and I had so much fun, but it would be um, it would be remiss of me not to give credit where credit is due. So probably two or three years ago, Gerald Novick, um, who everybody just says is an alien because he's so talented with an airbrush, did a really cool galaxy space pattern on a crankbait. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And every once in a while, I like to do some out-of-the-box stuff with um, with these soft tails from Bullshad. So on this one, I decided to mimic, and it's it's an absolute, it's a paying homage to him. Um, and he's cool with it. We've talked about it. So we've got the Earth and the Earth's Moon. We've got Mars on there. We've got uh, Mercury. We've got some Supernova, or in this case, Supernovic. And then on the other side, we have got Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune's in there. Yeah, I know, Mars, but you at least have to make the eyes look kind of the same. Maybe not. But um, yes, a bit of a novelty, but I had a lot of fun painting it. There's a lot of layering in this depth. If you're interested, now this is something that I would be happy to teach you guys. You're probably like, how do you make that jump off of there? It's it's so much easier than you guys might think if you're interested in doing something like this. Uh, another good guy to watch is TJ Hatfield. He can do some of the most amazing stuff with rattle cans on canvas that I've seen. So check TJ out as well. But I would be happy to teach you at least my portrayal of how to do this. Drop a comment down below and let me know if this is something that you would like to see. So I, you, the other thing about this is that just real quick, I really wanted to figure out how I was going to put in a TIE fighter and an X-Wing in this because you guys know I'm a huge Star Wars junkie and Mando's getting ready to kick back in hopefully towards Christmas. It might be early next year. The Mandalorian is, um, is my new fave. So did two of these. I might do a couple more. There was a whole lot of interest in them. But if it were me, I, I fish everything. But a lot of guys and gals might just like to collect this. I did the same pattern on two. Um, I might do a limited batch run on a couple of different types of that. I don't know. This is the, um, the latest and greatest. And this is the Kazi Ryoshi, which is Japanese for Shadow Hunter. And it's literal, so if I screwed up the, uh, the, not the translation, but the order in which I put the words. So if I screwed up the order in which I did the words, um, or, or placed the words into a sentence or description, I humbly apologize. Um, hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad, but Kazi Ryoshi is Shadow Hunter in Japanese, which is what this pattern is called. It is actually a black base, and then I shot um, some pearlescence and um, flip-flop paint over that. And then we've got some blue eyes on there for you. Last but certainly not least in the bait category, I've got the reptilian in a wake. Um, you can also pull the back tail 
and get some feathered treble on there as well. This is in that bright, bright, almost like a fire newt. You ever seen those? The fire newts that are, I mean, they're prevalent on the East Coast. I might even do, I'm thinking about doing a five line skink in this wake pattern. Um, just because we see so many of them. I grew up with the, the five line skinks on the East Coast and down here in Georgia. They're all over the place as well. So the next, actually not last but least. This was for or is for a benefit. Steve Bayard won this particular one and I received the bait in the mail from Brian. Um, this is one of Sean's go-to swim baits and this is the wake and crank and I put some paint on there for um, for a benefit on swim bait universe and this is how it's turned out the eyes are from John over at Jetson and got a little bit of if you I don't know how well the camera is picking up on that but lots of flip-flop on that as well. I love being able to, now you see it, now you don't, with that gold and pink in the face and also a little bit of purple. And that kind of translates across the back of this bait. So super, super cool. I tried to kind of match the eyes on this one because I love these eyes from Jetson Lure Eyes so much. He puts out a lot of really good stuff and I am very happy to work with him on occasion. So this is a hand cut stencil that I did for the pectoral fin. And that's what we've got in the bait department. I've got a couple more things to show you. Now these are gonna be dropping hopefully on the website in the next few weeks, but we've got some fresh threads for Bullshad. And there are two patterns that I wanna show you guys. And these are available in short sleeve and long sleeve. And then um, this Georgia Grown pattern, which is super cool. Bullshad swim baits, Georgia Grown. Love the way this came out. Kind of an off-white for this gray performance gear. And the gear is top-notch. It's really, really good fabric. The threading is its like triple stitch. These are on badgers. They're not on junk. They're on actually really, really good products. So that is the Georgia Grown pattern. It's in a short sleeve, and it's also in a performance hoodie. And then we've got the bull shad that you guys have been seeing this version of. But with Bullshed Swim Baits, this is the long sleeve. Sizes are large through 3X. So that's going to be dropping hopefully in the next couple of weeks. We've got the, um, we've got the samples in. So stay tuned for the Bullshed.com website for that. That is all the news that's fit to print. That's what I've got for you guys this morning. Thank you so, so much for giving me a view and spending some time on the channel. Please consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next video. And if this is what you want me to show you, then I will show you this, how to make really cool little circles look like planets on a bait in a galaxy far, far away. See ya. You're just gonna sit there? You're not gonna spray anything? Chip is so much more active.